with the reveal of the new Kia Seltos and uh, Kia will be introducing this car very soon in the market. Bookings will open up uh, later this month. But what we can see here is, well, significant uh, cosmetic detailing that has uh, been updated. Along with that, a few mechanical changes as well. Um, quite a striking looking car. Keep that in mind, one of Kia's biggest selling points was the styling. And the Seltos was the first to introduce Kia's design language into the country and it still looks as impressive a uh, lot of nice light work out here except for of course you know the Kia badge has now gone onto the hood and that leaves a fairly large vacant space right here uh, highlighted by those graphic elements the light graphic elements but it's blank nonetheless one of the big mechanical changes one important change is of course these 18 inch wheels and tires uh, keep in mind Kia used to offer the 17 inches before but it's now gone down to 18 inches uh, the advantages and benefits of that would of course be better dynamics and better ride quality as well. Well, I'm going to quickly take you inside the car and show you what the interior is looking like. But the other aspect about uh, Kia's new Seltos is that it introduces ADAS 2.0, which essentially is the advanced driver uh, assistance systems that you've seen on the EV6. Well, of course, the EV6 isn't sold in big numbers, so not everybody has experienced that level, that suite of safety features. But you can now do that in this new Seltos. And uh, I'll take you through all of those features. What does that have to offer you? What all can it protect you from? But apart from the ADAS systems, well, there's a whole lot of active and passive safety features on board as well. That should keep you safe. And if safety is your big thing. Now, apart from this, one important addition is this new range of colors, uh, which is quite nice to look at. It's got this fantastic finish. It's got that nice, glossy look, pearlescent finish to it. Very impressive. I'm just not sure how many people will, uh, well, of course, take to it as well. Simply because we see a lot of Kias running around in whites, blacks and that uh, burnt uh, red shade. But nonetheless, handsome car on the outside. Let's take a quick look at what's on the inside and of course those ADAS features as well. So here's what the interior looks like on the new Seltos. Of course, a lot of upgrades uh, involved over here as well. You can look at it. There's that new look on the dashboard. The upholstery has changed. Uh, there are various trim levels also in this uh, and of course the GT line will be one of those uh, more sportier looking one with all those uh, sporty accents uh, on the dashboard. Uh, slight changes with the panels over here and of course in the audio system as well. But largely everything stays more or less the same. Quite a nice cabin to be in, spacious, airy and of course still feel just as luxurious as ever. Keep in mind, not a lot has changed. You get new charging points, you've got more uh, Type-C charging points both for the front occupants and the rear occupants as well. Uh, but apart from that, this still is a familiar space to be in. And of course, the dimension, comfortable and luxurious as well. And here at the rear is the new, well, graphic element on the tail lamps. That's what's changed as well. As you can see, new graphic element on the tail light and of course, the light strip running across the tailgate. The rest of course is the same. This version is the 7DCT, the automatic and it's got a fairly large boot area with a fairly low loading lip. So, well, ergonomically, aesthetically, this is a well-designed boot for you to put your stuff into, especially the heavy stuff. So, there you have it. This is the Kia Seltos, the new version, and we'll be driving it very shortly and come back to you with a full-blown review of how the Seltos feels like.